busy day uh, at work for me. I'm actually in the middle of uh, cooking in my kitchen, uh, making, throwing some stuff in the crock pot. This is irrelevant. This is irrelevant. Uh, so here's the deal. Uh, I want to get a video out very quickly. For those of you who are unaware, uh, the Buffalo Bills have been uh, interviewing some uh, offensive coordinator candidates. Uh, T. Martin was mentioned. He was the position coach, the wide receiver coach uh, for the Baltimore Ravens. Um, ipso facto, right? It had been made pretty known through the media that the team was uh, looking for an internal promotion. Um, Josh specifically, and Josh was left out of the decision-making process. I want to be clear. Sean McDermott was very clear about that, said Josh is uh, not part of the decision-making process as far as a coach. And truthfully speaking, nor should he be, right? Nor should he be. Uh, I think we're all scared that Ken Dorsey was going to be leaving. I think it's really, really, really important that here's the deal. When you have coordinators, when you have coaches, you could pay them a kabillion dollars. It doesn't matter. There, there's no like salary cap for position coaches. There's no salary cap for coordinators or head coaches. Give them, the, give them whatever money you want. Here's the deal. Ken Dorsey is your new offensive coordinator. And here's what's so odd to me. Dorsey interviewed for the job back when Rick Dennison got it. And then, not only that, but then at that point, you get Brian Dable, and then the next season they add Ken Dorsey, hiring him out of college. He did take he did take a position or a coordinator job in college, and then just a couple months later was then the quarterbacks coach for Buffalo. And this year is the passing game coordinator as well as quarterbacks coach. Uh, I love this move. I really do. It keeps it in house. It keeps it internal. You keep that continuity. This team has proven over and over and over again that continuity is just so important to them. I just look at the players that they've retained. This team has been kind of immune from uh, releasing players, right? They want that continuity over and over again. I see all you guys in the chat. I love you. Thomas Luss says, thank God. Scott Bigley, that, that's good news, correct? Uh, Tony B, Dorsey will work. Miguel, hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, Daniel Gar is always with the Go Bills. Yeah, this is a great move for Buffalo. Super thrilled for them. Super thrilled for Ken Dorsey. Uh, this has been an opportunity that's sort of eluded him uh, a couple times in Buffalo, to be perfectly honest. And I know this is something that's going to make the offense as a whole happy. You did lose OG Bobby Johnson. Dable did take him as, uh, you know, the Buffalo Bills mm -hmm. offensive line coordinator, uh, offensive line position coach. He is gone. But you you live to fight another day. Um, that offensive line was was in kind of rough shape and you know holding it together i think he did a fine job but i think there's definitely some uh they're going to look for some improvement there which i'm excited about a good job for og bobby johnson went from an assistant line coach with the colts took the line job with buffalo and now is over with uh brian dable with the giants uh, congratulations you got to move and that's what you got to do um regarding ken dorsey i'm hoping and i think this move will support that the number of position coaches you're going to lose on the offensive side of the football should go down, right? If they were to hire an external candidate for the offensive uh, coordinator position, those position coaches, they're going to annex. They're going to go with, with Dable because there's some consistency there, right? So like Chad Hall, your wide receiver coach, he may be like, listen, uh, this new offensive coordinator and I, I'm not his guy. I'm not his boy. I might not be able to be here. I might be here for this year and then if you know, things don't go perfect, I'm, I might not be around. And that's always something that you have to be concerned with when you hire a new coordinator. Often, oftentimes, that entire coaching staff at a, from a position coach level cycles. You don't have to worry about that now. Ken Dorsey is now your offense coordinator for the 2022 Buffalo Bills. And I can tell you for a fact, the offense is thrilled about it. This is great for the in, for the incumbent position coaches. As I mentioned, players like Chad Hall, just as an example, this is great for them. Because now they can make the choice of, I can stay, I'm comfortable here, I'm not going to be pushed out. Or they can see if there is an opportunity on another team with somebody like Brian Dable or, you know, Leslie Frazier still could end up with a head coaching job. You just never know. These things happen quickly. But I can't tell you how thrilled I am. I think you guys all heard that beep. That was my microwave going off because I have a meeting that I have to get to at work. And I was throwing some stuff in the crock pot. But, hey, I love you guys. We can't miss news like this. Brian, uh, Brian Dable out as an offensive coordinator. Ken Dorsey in as offensive coordinator. Third time's the charm, I guess. And, uh, hey, go Bills, everybody. Go Bills.
Uh, thank you to Mr. Rogers Homes. They always sponsor us. We love them. If you're ever in, uh, if you're ever looking for property, even just investment property, buy an apartment, buy a house in Arizona. Retire there later, man. Work, trust me, it'll work out for everybody. You don't have to cut your grass. It's not even real grass, guys. It's not even real grass. All right, Ken Dorsey in, Brian Dable out. This is Paul from Hashtag. Love you guys. I'll talk to you soon. Go Bills. God, I got to do the old man thing where it looks like I don't know what I'm doing. All right, guys. Uh, oh, Scott Blakely, did Bobby Johnson take a lateral move? That's not a weird thing, man. He, his contract was up here in Buffalo anyway, so that's fine. No worries. All right, guys. Talk to you.